What is up guys, Jarv here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. Now in this video today, we're taking a look at a legendary grenade launcher that everyone is sleeping on. It's easily farmable inside the current season, so if you want to find out which one we're talking about and the sort of roles you need to be chasing, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new here or you want to keep up to date with the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, before we jump into the meat of today's video, I want to once again invite you all to the Jarv Community Hub. This is a fast growing community discord we have with 3,600 incredible guardians. So whether you want to talk about destiny, share your god roles or even find a fire team to get things done, then be sure to jump in. It's available to absolutely everyone and you can find the link to that down in the video description below. Now, in today's video, we're taking a look at a legendary power grenade launcher. There's not too many available in the game after a lot were sunset as a result of Beyond Light being introduced. However, However, that being said there are still some god tier ones out there especially if you can get the right roles and with that in mind today we're taking a look at the blast batu or batui now a lot of players will have this as it actually forms part of the season pass but in terms of the role that i have as you can see i've got augmented drum which is increasing my magazine size at the cost of a slower reload speed but alongside that i also have clown cartridge where reloading this weapon randomly overfills it from reserves but the most important perk of them all is chain reaction and this is where each final blow with this weapon creates the elemental damage explosion alongside that i have a velocity masterwork here and i've added a backup mag mod 2 to further increase my reserves now the role that was available on the season pass isn't great at all and as a result it probably meant they ended up in your vault or even getting sharded in the early part of the season however if you want to farm out a new one especially with the role that we just mentioned you can get this from the crow over in the tangled shore if you hand in some recon data he has an engram with every level up and this has a chance to drop a blast per two as a legendary reward however if you don't have a lot of recon data there is a more consistent way you can get this and this is through the cryptolith lure by using certain prey mods the package contents of each reward randomizes upon each completion so if you check the package contents of each prey mod you may be fortunate to have a blast per two as the reward from the wrathborn hunt and the great thing about using the lure is you can influence the role that you potentially can get naturally velocity is always favored when it comes to grenade launchers but in the final column here we get to choose which perks are excluded and in included and the important one that we need to make sure that is included is chain reaction and we'll be talking more about this perk shortly in this video now as we mentioned earlier sunsetting has caused there to be a very big shortage when it comes to adaptive frame grenade launchers so much so there is only three that are viable in current content and end game content inside the game but in reality none of these see any particular use in fact if you're talking about power grenade launchers and end game content most guardians will turn towards anarchy and rightfully so because it can pay excellently with other legendary weapons and provides consistent damage against bosses optimizing your dps as a result now this video today isn't to tell you that this grenade launcher is better than anarchy i don't think there'll be many weapons introduced to the game that could be better than anarchy however i am here to tell you that it is probably one of the best legendary grenade launchers that none of us are using this season and whilst there's not a lot of things to farm in destiny right now this is one of the easiest ones to go after and in fact it can actually create some interesting options for you in content throughout the game so we know what the blaster 2 is and we know the sort of role that you should be going after and we know where you can get it from and how but why should we care well chain reaction is a very interesting and almost unique perk in fact it only comes on three weapons in the game currently and this is the blaster 2 the crowd pleaser which is also a grenade launcher and also the brand new europa rocket launcher 2 those aside this isn't available on any other weapon in the game and it creates some interesting options for you inside pve now as you can see we are in the altar of sorrow currently right now and in terms of ad clearing there aren't many better weapons available in terms of clearing waves of ads that come out from the altars now chain reaction acts like dragonfly but for grenade launchers so for every target that you directly defeat it will create that elemental damage explosion we used to see in a dragonfly except with a grenade launcher and because a grenade launcher can hit and defeat multiple targets at the same time, this can result in many explosions altogether, taking out huge waves of ads in a single round. Now, when you pair this with something like Clown Cartridge, which will overfill your magazine randomly on a reload, because it can hold eight in the magazine with backup mag already, you can find yourself with a very large magazine, therefore not just being able to take out huge waves of ads, but also 
bosses directly too. Now the important thing to remember is Chain Reaction isn't just about ad clearing. If we jump into a legendary loss sector, we come up against some champions too. And as you'll see from some of the footage that plays out in this run, the champions don't even get an opportunity to get their shield up. The perk is that potent. The thing to remember as well is whilst ads surrounding champions are defeated, their elemental damage explosion will be causing damage to your target too, allowing you to take out champions and bosses that are surrounded by ads very easily indeed. Now, as we mentioned earlier, one of the other adaptive frame grenade launchers available in the game that is viable this season at least is the interference. Now, whilst this is a solid grenade launcher all round, it doesn't come with the chain reaction perk. The best alternative is probably full court and that isn't as good as it used to be either. Now, if you don't have an interference, you will have to get this from the world loot pool, which is still quite large inside the game. So it is going to be hard to get and even harder to get a good roll. Now, the other viable option that is available this season and is a brand new weapon introduced with Beyond Light is the Crowd Pleaser. Once again, a power grenade launcher. This one can roll with Chain Reaction as a legendary perk. Now, this particular weapon, if you don't have it, is a playlist exclusive weapon. So the only way to get this is by playing Gambit via the playlist and hope that it drops as a random reward upon completing each activity. So again, the chance of getting this is down to RNG and then we have to hope that we get a good roll too. Now, as we said at the very beginning of the video, the Blaster 2 was available from the season pass. So 100% of players that have accessed light.gg at least have had access to this weapon too, albeit potentially not with the chain reaction roll. But out of all three adaptive frame grenade launchers that are currently available and viable in the game, this one is the most accessible and is the easiest one to farm. So that's what chain reaction is and does across low tier ads, but also what it can potentially do to higher tier ads in harder end game PVE content. But how does the Blaster 2 compare to the other two adaptive frames? Well, if we bring up the stats of all three adaptive frame grenade launchers, it makes for some very interesting reading indeed. Now, as we can see here, they are all 120 RPM based on their archetype. Two of them are arc and one of them, which is the crowd pleaser, is void. Now, the main stats here to take note of is the aim assist stat, but also the infantry stat. Now, aim assist matters on a grenade launcher because most of the time you're firing it from the hip. So any additional increases on the aim assist just makes it easier to hit the end target. And as we can see here, the aim assist on the Blaster 2 is higher than any of them in the archetype. But more importantly, the infantry size it's almost double that of any other adaptive frame in the archetype, meaning that you not only have a massive magazine, but you also have deep ammo reserves too meaning that you have a lot more uptime of this grenade launcher than any other in the class. So there we have it, the Blast Batu or Batui, probably the most slept on legendary grenade launcher in Destiny 2 at the moment. So if you haven't got a good one or you haven't even got one with chain reaction, whilst Destiny is quiet and there's not a lot to farm, it may be worth going out and chasing one in the meantime. Now, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new here or you want to keep up to date with the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.